Continuing with the draft analysis series that I've been doing or moving on to a guy that I genuinely had no clue about. During one of my lives, somebody mentioned him. And yeah, this guy is genuinely amazing to watch. His name is Keaton Mitchell. Starting off with notable stats from 2022, he has 201 attempts, 1,452 yards, 14 touchdowns, and an average of 7.2 yards per carry. Yeah, damn. Moving on to pros and cons, I also have some film to show you from this guy, so I'll show you that throughout this list. Starting off with pros, very impressive speed, genuinely. You'll see it throughout the film, but he's got very impressive speed, great burst, amazing agility, noticeable twitch, great use of skill moves, and runs low to the ground, breaks off of tackles with ease. I got this off of Twitter. I don't know whose dog that is. Whoa! Anyways, uh, look at this. Speaking of dog, look at the dog in him. Look at that noticeable twitch. Great burst as well. Awesome. He has surprisingly good hands and runs routes with relative ease. Um, I could see him use some improvement with his catching ability, but he, he runs routes pretty fluidly, I would say. Um, amazing outside of the tackle runner, as we saw in the film, and then also has great patience when running through guards and inside of tackles and decent yards after catch. Moving on to the cons, needs a lot of work in terms of blocking, pass blocking especially. Like, I think this guy might be like the worst rated blocker in the uh, running back class, but you can always improve. That's something that you can always improve in the pro level. Lack of size, partially one of the reasons why he is not so great of a pass blocker or just a blocker in general. And then it anticipates tackles from time to time. But that's really just small concerns. Most of the time, he has really great burst. So where do I see this guy going? I kind of see him more as around 5-7 to seven guy. This draft class is pretty stacked, and I just don't think he's making it in that top four rounds. I think he'd be a great fit for the Cowboys. Maybe the Dolphins. However, I think the Dolphins would want a better pass blocker at that position, especially considering Tua and his, you know, previous injuries. So, yeah, I think he'd be a good fit for the Cowboys.